All right who would win? The United States or the world? Unlike most of these, I won't be biased. Ok let's go. Of course the United States has a navy bigger than the last eight combined, and a huge air force bigger than the seven combined, so you would think it will be easy. Not so. No nation has ever taken on the world. Well Germany did but there were still some neutral countries. So it technically doesn't count. So the United States would invade Mexico and Canada pretty easily. But then Russia and the gang would invade Alaska and Hawaii. Giving reinforcements to Canada. So the United States will invade the Caribbean islands. And it will be an easy victory. As America is attacking Mexico, South American and Central American armies are on the way to help Mexico. But it will take a while for them to arrive. So for now it will be easier to invade Mexico. America is attacking Canada and Russia and the gang is sending reinforcements to Canada. And because the United States is in a two front war, it might be easier for Canada to hold off the United States until reinforcements get there. So now it's time for the Atlantic Ocean War. So if every nation possible pitched in their Navy and Air Force, this is what they will be fighting. So the battle will be big, and it will damage the American Navy and Europe's and Africa's too. But, it just might be enough to make the Navy and Air Force weaker. Now time for the Pacific Ocean War. Again if every possible nation pitched in their navy, this is what they will be fighting. And this one will be worse because it has many more very powerful navies that they will have to fight, and Japan, the most advanced air force. The American navy will be destroyed after this war. So now that the navy is weakened, the invasion will begin. Now the main focus is the army. Europe and Africa will attack the east coast, Asia, Oceania, and the rest of Africa will attack the west coast. Landings in South America and Canada will be easier than attacking them head on. As hundreds of thousands of troops enter Mexico, America is getting pushed back. They are also running out of things like, food and oil. So the American army will have to loot shops, and steal gasoline. Thousands of troops enter Canada. America is getting pushed back fast. Victory is on the horizon. Привет, товарищ. Эта война скоро закончится. Мы и наши союзники победим американскую бронетехнику и скоро захватим Вашингтон. Эта война станет самой смертоносной войной, которую когда-либо вела Россия. America is getting attacked on all four sides. Of course, civilians can and will attack, but it just won't be enough. Millions of troops enter North America, the United States is going to lose this war. They just simply don't have enough resources, and manpower to fight. Allied forces enter Washington. American troops are giving whatever they've got at the enemy. After days of fighting, Washington will be captured by the Allies. And America is on the brink of collapse. As Allied forces have captured nearly every state, America officially surrenders. Ending the bloodiest battle in history. Land will be taken, and new nations will get independence. The United States will have to pay reparations. The war is over.